Hello everyone, and my name is Bobby Erickson. I am co-owner of Erickson's Photography, and I'm really excited. This is our third installment of setting up a sauna that we've done. I've done videos on setting it up, and then we did a second video where it was a little more in depth, and now we're, this is the final video. This is to get it all set up. And then from here, it'll just be really kind of deep diving into your own business as setting up for what's going to work with you so i'm really excited to share this last and final piece so make sure if you're seeing this video and you haven't seen part one or part two definitely make sure to check those out first because they all kind of go in order so i'm really glad to have shared this with you and i'm really excited to keep um, sharing sharing even more with you guys about how we use asana and how we set up asana and how asana can really help your business and kind of help you grow as a project manager All right, now that we have our project, we're feeling good about our task in our project, let's keep adding to this. And so I'm going to go ahead and create, and we're gonna do another project. Now I'm gonna, in a future video, we'll go over templates, project templates and how to use those. But for now, we're just gonna start with a blank one. And let's call this social media. And then this is where you can choose what view you want. As mentioned, I was like the list view. And we're gonna just go ahead and go to this project. So now when you create a project from scratch, there's a, a few things that if you wanna do to, to take advantage of, you certainly can. And so right now I'm the only one that's in here. You know, if I collaborate with somebody, it'll add them in. I always just like adding my wife right in here. And then this is totally optional when there's new task added. I like to do that. That way it notifies my wife anytime that I set up a new task. All right. And so now we got this. And so you'll see our items are a little bit off compared to our other projects like we have the priority the promise to client date and so now you can set this one up the same way as those other ones you know so this is going to be more social media so you could customize these fields into you know what date you want to post certain things and so forth so i always like to use sections within my projects this just helps me out to know where I'm at within my project and what section. And so for this, I'm literally building this from scratch. This is probably gonna change a thousand times, but just for, for right now, let's call this Instagram. Let's call this Facebook. We'll do uh, TikTok. And we gotta do YouTube. So now these are sections that are within here. And so now you can add a task into each of these, you know, so you can do, um, let's do post to Instagram. I'm really drawing a blank because I'm sitting here trying to type and do this video. So definitely make this what's going to work for you. You know, maybe this is a post about and so you, again you can assign here you can do the due dates i like to go into the actual task and so now i can assign this out i'm gonna say let's do thursday jennifer now when you're doing a task and you can do whatever you want in here one thing that you can do too is you can mention if you have a lot of people is you can mention them and their name and so uh, when you do that, they'll actually get an email about the task and also that they were tagged in a task. It's a little overkill. So we don't always tag people, but I just want to show that you could tag people in here and they'll get an extra notification that they've been tagged on a task. But since th she's assigned, I don't need to tag her on here. And so, you know, we don't always use the description field, but you certainly can. So, you know, for this, I would be like, hello.
And so that's all there is to it. I've now got this in here. I got to sign it out to her. And she'll be able to do what she wants. Um, my wife is definitely our social media person. And so her and I always go back and forth on social media about what to post about. And so what's really nice about this is you can always come in here. And so maybe this is a good time to talk about this actual task. So we have all this information in here. You can like this. You can add an attachment. You can do subtasks, which I'll talk about in later videos. You can copy this task link. You can make it full screen. And then you have all these other items that are in here. So you can add it to another project. You can mark as a milestone, which I'll get into what milestones are in another video. Mark as approval, which we don't use. Add tags. You can duplicate, convert into a template. So all kinds of things that you can do here. So the main thing that I was going to show was you can do a duplicate of a task, which might help, especially on something like this, that, you know, we're going to come in here. We want it to be the same thing. Now, I wanted to include the signee because it's going to go to my wife and the due date. And so, boom. Now it's here. Now I can just drag this right down here into Facebook. You know, and if you want to do that for TikTok, YouTube, you can certainly keep duplicating. You can come up with other ones. But this is where you can really get, once you have your ideas and you know your social media content, my wife and I, we use this for, and this is one view where we can come into the calendar just for social media. And we can see on what days we should be posting about what. So as you build this section out, this will help you to keep track of what you should be doing social media wise. And again, you do not have to do this. This is just one way that we project manage our social media. Here. And so, you know, if you don't want to do that and you want to do another, you can do its own task, you know. Create video showing the studio set. I'll click on details and then, you know, I'll assign this to my wife. And let's say we want that done on Monday. You know, obviously, I hope you post more to TikTok than this, but it just kind of gives you an idea. Um, and what's really nice that I'll show you here in a moment. So if, if I leave this all as is, it's to her on Monday. The really nice thing about this is if she, once she gets there, for her as a project manager and managing this task, once it comes Monday, once she does this, let's say you forget about it, she can keep moving these dates around to whatever fits for her. And this is so easy to collaborate with each other. She can leave a comment. She can leave, you know, she wants to leave it in the description. We like to do comments because then It'll show you when it was there and the timestamp with the date. And that is so super helpful for when her and I are talking about um, or when we're commenting back and forth to one another that I could see the exact date and time of that comment. So that's a really quick and easy way just of setting up a, a new project, having some thrown in some tasks. Definitely build it out to what works best for you. And I'll continue doing that on my end as well.